Hi guys, it's Kylie, in case you might have forgotten, because again, it has been a while, a couple weeks since I have last uploaded a video, and that is because I have been really busy with work and doctor's appointments and going here and trying to find this place, and the reason why I've been having so many doctor's appointments is because I'm pregnant. And I'm really happy and I'm really excited about this and um, I'm kind of looking forward to not really changing my channel but kind of turning it into I don't I don't know how to describe it I know what I'm thinking but it's not gonna translate into words um, I still am gonna keep doing the same stuff that I've been doing but I'd also like to include, like, mommy things into it, you know, go through how I'm feeling and the experiences I'm having and kind of keep you guys updated with this. I figured I might as well say something because sooner or later, um, you might see a belly or something and you're going to be like, oh my god, is she just getting fat or what's going on? No, I'm not just getting fat, I'm just having a baby. So this is a really exciting time. I'm really happy, but I'm also really nervous. Um, I guess I'll just kind of give you the basics for right now because, as you can see, I kind of have to leave for work. <laughs> but I'm 13 weeks, and I think four days. I'll be 14 weeks on Sunday, so that's kind of how I go by everything. Every Sunday, I'm another week along. <laughs> Um, so right now I'm 13 weeks and a couple days. Um, I've already had my first prenatal appointment and that went really well. I also had a first trimester screening and that went great. They said everything looks normal. My risk um, for Down syndrome or trisomy is really low so that was really awesome to hear. Um, what else? So, I do, even though I'm really early, I do have, like, ultrasound pictures because when they did the screening, they had to look at the baby and everything and take measurements and stuff. So, I do have those. Um, I guess I'll get them now and show you. So, this is my little baby. As you can see, oh, they're so tiny. So tiny and cute. <laughs> so, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really excited and honestly I could watch them show me the baby and move around and see different things for hours. I could watch that forever. I don't think I would honestly ever get tired of it. Um, it was just so awesome to really see the baby and see him moving around and everything. It was really special and really emotional. Um, I did download a baby app. Um, it tells me um, how far along I am and about how big the baby is and um, it tells you all kinds of stuff. It explains what you might be experiencing now and what the baby is doing, like how they're developing, what they're developing, stuff like that. Um, I also downloaded another app just a couple minutes ago. It's um, like a baby heartbeat monitor thing. And it says that it works best when you're 30 to 40 weeks, um, so basically at the end for the most part. And since I'm only 13, like, I wasn't expecting to hear anything, but I tried it and I did. And the only reason I know it was the baby's and not mine, because my heartbeat was going pretty fast, is because the baby's heartbeat was, like, really, really fast. So that was really awesome, and I can listen to that anytime now. I can have my boyfriend listen because he's gone all week so it's kind of hard for him to try and get to these appointments so and on November 30th I will get to find out the gender and I'm so excited yes I want to know what I'm having um I just think it would make it easier for people who want to go shopping for me and buy baby clothes and stuff this way they kind of know what to get so they're not trying to find like gender neutral stuff instead of oh it's a girl so we can go buy girls clothes and by the way in case you were wondering I want a girl but Eric wants a boy and 
I guess it's kind of like, go figure. But one of us is going to get what we want, and the other one's not going to be upset, you know, if it's a boy or girl or whatever, because we're going to love them regardless. It's just our preference. I want to have a little princess that I can dress up in tutus and be all cute with. <laughs> but this is a really new experience, and I'm writing the whole thing down. I got a composition book, and I'm just trying to keep track of everything, because this is really... It's really exciting, and obviously it's my first one, and I just, I don't think I'll ever forget this, but all the little details that I might forget, I want to write all of that down so I can remember it forever, and when my little baby's old enough, and they're, they're like, oh, mommy, what was your pregnancy? Like, I can be like, here, read this, it'll tell you everything. <laughs> I'm keeping all, everything, everything that I'm getting, you know, all my baby stuff and all the pictures and all the pregnancy tests and everything. I have all that in a little box until I get a tub because I'm probably going to get a lot of baby stuff. Um, I'm just really, really excited and really happy <laughs> and I don't know. I think there was something else I wanted to say but I do not remember. Oh, when I first found out I was pregnant, I found out around the beginning of August. I <laughs> I found out, actually, I don't think it was the beginning. I think it was like the 18th for some reason. I found out because I wasn't feeling well, so I took a pee test and I was like, oh my God, you should have seen the look on my face when I saw both lines come up that said I was pregnant. I was like, oh God, <laughs> are you serious for real? Because I've wanted to have a baby for so long and even though we weren't, like, trying, trying, um, I don't know, I just, I didn't, for some reason, I was like, I don't know if I can even get pregnant, you know, I just, because I wanted to have a baby so bad, and my biggest concern was not being able to get pregnant, but I did, obviously, <laughs> and I was really, honestly, dead serious, I was miserable for the first couple weeks, like, actually probably for about the first month I was just miserable I was sick I didn't feel good trying to get up for work at 6 30 7 in the morning was a struggle like I didn't want to go to work even if I had to go in at night I didn't want to do it I just I felt sick um I figured out that I can't eat those fruit fruit jello cups because they make me want to throw up <laughs> I ate one of those at work and never again will I do that um, yeah, it was really rough for the first couple weeks, and once I started getting close to the end of the first trimester, um, it just kind of went away, and now I feel fine. You know, I'm just constantly having to eat and make sure I'm okay, because, um, the other night I didn't eat frequently enough, and by the time I got home and I threw something into my stomach, it just... Nothing sat well, and I ended up throwing up, so I don't want to do that again, because I've thrown up so many times, like, in these last two months, I've thrown up more times than I have in, like, the last five years, and I, it's been kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie, it's, but it's a lot better now, I'm feeling fine, you know, I'm just kind of lazy sometimes, I'm just tired, I'm feeling a bit run down, you know, I don't really do my makeup much anymore, I just do like my eyebrows and some mascara, and then I'm kind of good to go, <laughs> but yeah, that's about all I really have to say for now, I actually need to get going to work now, so I'm not late, because <laughs> I, I don't need to be late on top of this, and it's the night shift, so I've been struggling with the night, night, night sips. I don't even know where I was going with that. I've been struggling with the night shifts lately because I just, I can't stay awake. It gets around 8, 9 o'clock or even 7 sometimes and I'm standing at the register yawning ready to go to sleep. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, you know, feel free to inbox them to me or leave them in the comments down below um you know I figure I could always do a video of like questions that you may have if I didn't 
um, if I said things or I didn't say things and you have a question about it, you know, just leave them down below or in my inbox. It doesn't matter. So in probably another, hopefully a week or maybe a couple weeks or something, I might have another video together. Um, but yeah, this was the surprise video that I was talking about. I just didn't want to say anything because I just recently announced it on Facebook. So I felt like my Facebook friends, like, they kind of need to know because I have family on there and everything. And I just wanted them to know first before I posted a video and then, because I don't know who sees these. <laughs> I really have no idea if my friends see them or strangers see them. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I just wanted my family to know before they, like, heard it through the grapevine. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions or whatever, contact me. I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to judge you or be mean to you or anything. Even though I've been kind of mean lately. I don't know, probably just because I'm tired and cranky. So that's all I have for this video. And I can't say I hope you guys enjoyed it because it wasn't like... A funny video or something it was just kind of like an announcement video but I hope you guys are shocked <laughs> or I guess I hope you guys are happy because now you're getting to see the announcement that I have been talking about so I'm gonna get going so I can go to work so I'm not rushing or being late because I don't need to rush and get in an accident it's not a good thing Alright, so hopefully I will see you guys very soon, and I can't wait to see all of your beautiful faces next time. Oh my god, I didn't even stop it. Oh, fail, Kylie. Can I just go back to sleep? <laughs>